Hi everyone, I'm here at the gym. I'm going to show you a stretch that you can do for your legs, your bottoms and your hips. I know lots of you are struggling in that area, me included, so I thought it'd be good to film a stretch routine that you guys can use and repeat and follow along with. Um, you could use it every day and really stretch out those um, glutes, hamstrings and quads. Let's go. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all of our latest videos for at home training. You're going to start by putting your feet apart and your hands flat on the floor. For every stretch in this video, I hold it for 10 seconds. If you would like to hold it for longer, feel free to pause the video at any time to hold any of the stretches for longer than 10 seconds. From here, you're gonna go over to one side keeping both legs straight and toes are parallel, which means facing the front and holding on to that one side with both hands. Walk yourself across and take it to the other side. And back into the center hands flat on the ground. You could also grab behind the backs of your ankles and just give yourself a gentle pull into the center. You can see my arms are bent here, so I'm pulling my chest between my legs. I'm now I'm gonna turn my knees out and use my hands to push them out. You might like to put your elbows on your knees instead of your hands. I find I get a better stretch with my hands on my knees. I'm now going to put one shoulder into the center stretching out my back as well as my hips and hold this. And then I'm going to go ahead and swap to the other side. I'm going to straighten my legs up now and bring my feet in so that my feet are together and I'm reaching for the ground. Once you have completed this stretch a few days in a row, you will be able to put your hands flat on the ground. The next stretch is really great for your glute muscles. So you're going to have the feet together and you're going to straighten your leg and turn your body towards the straightened leg and bring your hand up to the ceiling. Now turn around and do that on the other side now. It's really important to keep our feet together and have our hand flat on the floor if we can and then straighten that other one. It's a lot easier if you look up at the hand that's up in the air as well. We're now going to go through our leg stretches. So we're going to go down to a lunge and if you're feeling flexible and confident on this leg, you can actually put your elbows on the ground to get a deep stretch. Now you're going to put your knee on the ground and pop your hands on your hips. It's really important that your bottom and knee are in a straight line and that you're turning your hips underneath you to get that nice deep stretch in the front of your leg at the top of your quad muscles. Straighten that front leg out now and make sure that your knee and your bottom are still in a straight line and have your hands either side of your foot. Bring that knee back to a bent position and pull your back foot up to your bottom. You can either leave your hand on the floor to balance or you can sit up and grab your foot with both hands at the back. You should feel a nice quad stretch in the front of your leg. We're going to go back to our lunge position now and we're going to open out towards the leg that we have forward and bring our arm up to the ceiling. Again, it is a really great stretch if you're looking up at your hand as well. You're going to bring your hand back down now and straighten both legs and hold it there. If you're feeling confident, you might grab the back of your front ankle and pull your chest towards your knee. Make sure all of these moderations are gentle and you ease your body into them. We're gonna walk ourselves around now and go to the other side. So heading down into our lunge shape, 
and again if you're feeling good on this side you might go down to your elbows to get a deeper stretch in the lunge. We're going to put our knee on the ground now and tuck our bottom under to get that stretch in the front of our leg there. Straighten the front leg out, both hands either side of the foot. Aim to get your chest to your knee, not your head. Keeping that right angle with the back leg. Bring that knee forward again, bending it and pull the back leg up to your bottom to get the quad stretch from before. Again, you can leave your hand on the ground for balance or you can grab your foot with both hands. Going back into the lunge, taking your arm up to the ceiling and twisting your body towards your front leg. And up to straight legs, holding it there, grabbing the ankle if you would like to get a deeper stretch. Taking yourself now onto the floor into butterfly, we're going to do our stretches on the floor now. Take your legs out so that they are slightly apart, not quite in a pike position, but not out as wide as a straddle and trying to reach over your feet to get a nice deep stretch. And now take it into a pike and reaching over. Taking legs out to straddle now, just reaching over to each side just to warm up those leg muscles. Stretching up and over into the centre. Keep your arms as straight as possible so that you're reaching out and trying to get your tummy to the ground rather than just your head. And now over to your right. Holding the foot with both hands. And switching over to the left hand side. You can either pull through from here or swing around into a seal position. We are going to go now into a pigeon on the left side. The aim of the pigeon is to get your front foot and knee in a straight line, making a box with your leg. However, this will be something you can work to gradually as you continue to work on your flexibility. Make sure that back leg is straight. Bring the back leg in now and straighten the front leg and reach over, aiming to get your chest to your leg. We're now gonna reach up again and now we're gonna take our body into the center between both legs.
So bring that front knee in now and go down onto our elbows. It's really important with this stretch that you go to your elbows and ease your way into it. You need to be pushing that hip up to the roof and getting a nice quad stretch. There's no need to go down to the floor completely. I'm going to come up now and we're going to lay our chest over our knee and stretch out to the side. Bring your right leg up and your left leg over the top. And we're aiming for a glute stretch here. Holding this for the 10 seconds. You're then going to put your arm through the hole and around your knee and pull it towards you as you lay on the ground. Take your foot over the top, grab around your knee and pull away, so twisting your body. Now pop both knees together so that they're in line and on top of each other. Take your arms out to the side and reach over. Gently slide that left leg across now so that it's sitting on top of the right one and reach forward. Now we're going to go through all of that on the other leg. So a right leg pigeon now, straighten that back leg and aiming to get your shoe and your knee in line. Keep the pigeon position and reach forward with your arms out straight in front of you. And now sitting up, bringing the back foot in and the front leg out straight. Holding that down. And now stretching up to the roof and bringing your body back down in the center between your two legs. your right leg in and laying down, elbows on the ground, making sure you're pushing that hip up to the roof to get your quad stretch. Bringing your chest over the top of your knee and stretching out to the side. And sitting your right leg on top. If you don't feel a stretch here you can work towards pushing that right knee forward to give you more of a stretch. And now lying down popping one arm through the hole and the other arm around the side to grab onto that knee.
sitting up again, popping that foot on the ground, walking around your knee and twisting towards the back. popping your knees in line with one another as best as you can and reaching forward. And now placing that right leg on top of the left and reaching forward again. And give yourself a hug. I'm just going to do one more thing. We're going to hold onto our leg mount sitting down. This might be better for you to do leaning against a wall. As you can see, it's quite tricky. I'm going to hold onto your ankle with both hands and pull your leg towards you, but it's really important that your knee stays straight. And you're going to swap legs and hold on the other side. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've been able to get a lot out of it. Make sure you do this as many times a week as possible to increase your flexibility. You can go ahead and do your splits on your own now and any other stretches that you would like.